to Pickle Planet Podcast. I'm Jenna. And I'm Tosh. Today we're talking about something big on people's uh, minds right at the moment because it's fall. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think this is a topic that is probably big throughout the year, really, but there really does seem to be this big spike in family photographs yes. around this time of year because you've got you know, the apple orchards and then you've got the fall colors and then you've got people that want Christmas photos yeah. and it just seems like it's this like never any, you've got school photos happening and it's just seems like a crazy time and a crazy amount of energy that people put into trying to prepare for their photo shoot. It's true. And th there's a lot of stress that goes involved. I have been stressed out, like desperately trying to find a black coat last year. Oh That's goodness, what yes. happened. Yes. Yes. You're yeah. trying to find that coat for your daughter. Yeah. Found I it. I remember that. Found it. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> yeah. See, we haven't done fancy photos in a while. <laughs> like, oh, it's been a while since I had to do that whole, but, but I do keep it in mind. Like every, every time I'm looking at like outfits for my kids, I'm like, Ooh, it'd be so nice if we had something that like coordinated. Yes. 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 Exactly. And so today on the podcast, we brought Sally in. Sally is the owner of Two Little Twigs Photography, and she's going to tell us that we all just need to chill out. <laughs> we hope that's right? what she's going to tell us. Basically. Basically. <laughs> yes. So when it comes to family portraits, how big of a deal is it if your family all matches? Let's start with that. If they all match, uh, you're going to look a little bit silly. Okay. <laughs> like if everyone's wearing five different kinds of plaid. You're gonna look like you got lost on a lumberjack outing. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a good look. So don't no all matchy. No all matchy. That's on there. Okay, it's on your list. So, no yeah. matchy. Is there a difference though between matching and coordinating? Yes. Okay. So I have what I call the one pattern rule. So one person wears something with a pattern, and then whatever the other colors are, you pull solids from that. Okay. So Ooh. like this. So this color with this shirt. You could wear navy or pink. And just be coordinate based on one pattern. I like that. That's one simple. person gets it, that's it. Yeah. One person gets the pattern, everybody else gets solids. Okay, yes. that makes sense. That's simple. That is so easy to remember. One yes. pattern rule. One, one pattern. Yeah. yeah. How did I not know the one pattern rule? I before? know, right? <laughs> it seems so simple. Well, we just met today. <laughs> This is true. <laughs> this is exactly why we had Sally on the show, because when we have families and we want these things done, mm -hmm. then, then you need to do it. Well, and I can't, like, I can't even think of how many times I see people posting pictures of, you know, six different outfits. Like, which one should we wear? You know, trying to decide what's best yeah. for these photos. So the one pattern rule is a great start. Yes. And I know when it comes to visuals like TV, we tend to stay away from a lot of stripes and little yeah. small yes. little polka dot, tight polka dots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a magic eye picture. But it's <laughs> the same thing on print too, though, right? Like, it's, yeah. it, so what it's what should people stay away from when they're picking the print that's going to the uh, pattern? In general, to limit distractions, neon colors, uh, no go. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> that's a good you're gonna shine, right but now. not in a good way. <laughs> Think of all those 80s photos with the chip yeah. and pepper fluorescence. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah, it's hard it's to Photoshop bit. that. It's uh, <laughs> so, no neon. Uh, logos, shirts with logos, hats with logos. They tend to look ridiculous. Uh, it's not really timeless if you're wearing a beer shirt on the right. beach. Right, yeah. Um, hats, sunglasses, stuff like that. That'll be all you see in a picture. I've noticed that sometimes people wearing their sunglasses and like really nice photos that yeah. they've obviously paid for. I mean, why, why would you pay to block half your face yeah. that you're getting <laughs> photographed? And you can't Photoshop that off. No. You have to give them a whole new face. <laughs> that's not good. Maybe that's what they were going for. Maybe. <laughs> what about glasses in general? Glasses, if you wear them, you wear them in your pictures. There's ways, if you have a good photographer, to uh, limit glare. If you're looking at the sun, it's going to be just like white yeah. squares. Um, but your photographer should know how to pose you so it's not glary. So, yeah, good call. Look through people's portfolios. Yeah. Look for the people wearing glasses to yeah. see if that photographer knows how to photograph someone with glasses. Yeah. That's, exactly. that's a good idea. Now, when it comes to what you're picking for clothing, let's stick on that for a second. Mm -hmm. Comfort? Over number one what, rule. Yeah, because yeah. Kid, if your kid is in this puffy dress or whatever, they're not going to want to be in the pictures, no. right? No. Comfort is the number one rule. I tell people if you're most comfortable in a neon purple prom dress from the 80s, wear it. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> we'll make it work. You're going to look like you're wearing it, but it's like you <laughs> but can't. If it's you. You can't. There's no uh, substitute for a happy smile and happy eyes. So if you're right. not comfy and you're like in this little mini skirt and you're, you're freezing your butt off. 
Um, you're better off the prom dress. You're better off in the prom dress. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I know uh, we have had some issues with my kids in the past with, uh, I don't want to wear this, or she's yeah. wearing that same shirt, and heaven forbid my kids wear anything that's similar. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we've definitely run into those issues in the past. So that's what I was wondering. That, and I'm planning on doing family photos soon. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I'm going to need new Christmas card photos. But you were pretty photos. good last year. We did do pretty good last year. Yeah. We, d we did all right. Which there was is, mittens. Yes. Like, uh, you also have to dress for the weather. Yeah. So if it's winter and you have a nice little dress with no sleeves and... No tights, you undress them for the picture, they're not gonna smile. No. <laughs> they cold. Yeah. <laughs> so dress for the weather. Okay. Dress for the location. If you're wearing a tank top or a mini dress in the winter woods, it's gonna look out of place. Yeah. So uh, and color too, if you're going in the woods, don't wear green. <laughs> like forest green. <laughs> if you're on the beach, don't dress everyone in blue or sand color. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. What about um, if you are outside and it's raining, what is the plan when it comes to that? Besides my hair getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> like, is it fun to take photos, say, like, would you have props all of a sudden? Oh, look, there's umbrellas. Family fun in the rain. Like <laughs> Most people reschedule if there's rain. Okay. Just because makeup runs, hair gets damp and flat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or bigger, in my case. But yeah. puddle pictures are fun. Mm -hmm. If everyone has umbrellas, it can be fun. So... It depends on who's taking the picture. Yeah. And who you can, wants what. You can make it work for sure. Yeah. yeah. And then when it comes to, um, I totally, <laughs> totally lost it. There was something to do with rain photos and it's gone. So you got a question? Sure. Yeah. It'll come back. It'll come back. Yeah. So I'm wondering, you know, what are some of those things that a family should keep in mind when they're looking to book a photographer? What are some of the questions that they should be should be asking the photographer to figure out if they're a good fit? Um, working with kids is a big one. Some people are good at it. Some people are rushed. Um, and looking at their portfolio, almost everyone has a page now. You can mm -hmm. look through their work and see. Everyone has a different style. Everyone wants different style of pictures, and there's tons. There's tons out there. So that's one of the main ones. Check it first. And what about you know the the overzealous client who, you know, shows up <laughs> with this, like, raft of Pinterest ideas yeah. for the photo shoot the day of. I actually don't mind that, usually. I try usually try to do as many as I can. Um, I've done a couple weddings, and there's always a message full of Pinterest photos. We want to do this, this, and this. And it's it helps, it helps move you. So you do that, and then you're kind of like, oh, and this would be nice on top of that, and then this, and you just kind of go with it. If someone has those ideas, though, is it better to bring them to the photographer ahead of the photo shoot? <laughs> <laughs> yes, before is better. Day of is a little harder, um, so before would be better. It's, there's some planning involved, like props, uh, location sometimes, and lighting. So it all depends on what kind of picture you want. There was my question. Yeah, there it is. Right, there it is. There it is. The lighting. I think the majority of us who are not photographers would assume a bright, sunny day oh. is the day that, oh, it's the perfect day for pictures, but it's not for a photographer, right? No. Like an overcast day is really more what you're shooting for, right? Yeah, everyone says, I hope it's sunny for my pictures, and I just want to scream inside, because yeah. no, don't hope for sun. Yeah. No, clouds, and no rain, and not too hot, and not too cold. That's a, a so, tall like a cloudy, order. <laughs> a cloudy 15 degree day with a little bit of wind. Yeah. That's the best. Excellent. That's good to know. So today. Yeah. So today. <laughs> yeah, today, today yes, as we're reading done. this, is a perfect day for photos. Yeah. yeah. Minus the mist right there, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, what else did I have? You got Footwear. Footwear. Footwear matters. Oh. Oh. You would not believe how many white socks I see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of white socks happening in my life sometimes. <laughs> um, and you see it in pictures. Because <laughs> we, you know, we have people like posing their legs or sitting down and footwear matters. Okay. Footwear matters. Footwear matters. Yeah, because you don't, like, you're not, if you're just there doing family headshots, you're not thinking of that at no. all. Okay. No white socks. Footwear matters. Be comfortable. Yes. Don't, don't wear stilettos if you're going out in the forest. That's preferred. Okay. Or the beach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's oh, very beach. sinky. It's sinky, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are some of your favorite locations to do family photos? Well, I live in Bereshwa. So I do a lot at the beach, and I like the tree farm where we yes. I do Christmas pictures at uh, Yuletide Tree Farm every November. 
Ah, that's the one out on Cabrera on the way. Road? Yeah, 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 fantastic. Yeah, it was amazing. That's that where we fun. did our family mm -hmm. photos last year, and they were incredible. And last incredible. year there was snow. <laughs> yeah, there was. Yeah. yeah, this year maybe not so much. And the year before you didn't have any snow, no. right? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, last year was nice with the snow. It was nice. It was cold. My kids were wearing mittens I had not intended on them wearing. But, but good that you did like, dress for the weather. Yeah. There's Erin in her fancy red jacket with purple mittens. Yes. Yeah. But we you know what? We, we just went red and purple together. Well, yeah. it, it worked. It worked. It did. It worked out all right. The, I mean, it's all in the photographer sometimes too, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's right. If you haven't noticed, I use Sally for photos. You should use her too. Yeah. <laughs> she also does my beer run on Friday. I do. Um, yeah. For free. Yeah, and last year in the horrible weather too. Yeah, so. and this year I have a flash, so. Ooh, excellent, it's excellent. Be, uh, high quality. Yeah. It is, and then it's gonna be a, a nice sunny day. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Not in the evening. Okay, all right, let's talk money, and we don't wanna know how much you charge or anything like that. People can go find that out by getting in touch with you. Exactly, yeah. exactly, but you have a, a lot of competition. Oh yeah. So yeah. how do you, how do you market yourself and brand yourself and then try to be comparable to, cause you don't want to undercut anybody either. Cause that's not no. fair. No. So how did you make your package? Um, well, when I started out two years ago, I did a lot of for free photo shoots <laughs> and I still do some actually. Um, and just as I got better, I'd slowly bump it up a little bit. Um, and I just got to where I am now, and it's pretty close to most people around town that have some experience. Um, I'm still learning, though, so yeah. I'm not charging thousands of dollars. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there's tons of options. There's cheaper, there's more expensive. Some people have a lot of experience, some people are trying to get some. So you can actually usually find someone who's trying to practice for much cheaper. <laughs> that's that's the podcast dog. Not yeah. The coffee over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lid on the coffee. It's all yes. good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It, it should be locked. You should be fine. <clears throat> it's all right. It'll make the room smell lovely if it spills. I'm okay with it. <laughs> so speaking of prices, though. Yeah. Something that we've talked about on past episodes mm -hmm. that, that comes up a lot with kind of you know creative industries like photography is you often see people posting online. I want to get pictures done. I don't want it to cost an arm and a leg. How yeah. do I find like? What should people keep in mind in terms of what it costs you to do this and how you come up with that price structure? Taking the pictures is honestly the easy part. Um, the most time comes after with the editing and sorting through every picture that you took and finding all the best ones and then you edit them, upload them, and send them off. Um, so most people's prices will include their time as well. Um, I forget the first part of your question. <laughs> Just that, that idea of, you know, a lot of people out there keep, a lot of people have the idea that photographers are overpriced yes. a lot of the time. Yeah, it does and, come, yeah. And I personally don't think that's the case for most of them, but yeah. I think people, it's good for people to have that understanding of, you know, how much time goes into a photo shoot. So say, you know, you're doing your Christmas mini photo shoots at yeah. the tree farm. People think, oh, well, I only get... I don't, do you do 20 minute sessions, 15 minute sessions? 25 minutes usually. Okay, so 25 minutes. So the family's thinking, oh, it's only 25 minutes. Yeah. But that's 25 minutes there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then how long would it take you to do one session, say, in terms of editing? And, you know, is that an hour per session, roughly, or more or less? Probably about two hours per session. Plus, any time um, <laughs> time before that I spent um, finding props, setting up how I want to do it, making sure I have everything. Um, I'm just going to pet your dog while I talk. That's okay. That's what she's here for. She's a therapy dog oh, now, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, so for the mini sessions where it's a full day, so I'll, if I get full that day, it'll be about probably six or seven hours of shooting. And then for every, every 25 minutes, I'll spend a couple hours editing. So... That's a lot of time. Yeah, it does. And yeah. it adds up. And like you have to drive all the way into town, yep. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then there's so. all the gear and all the time yeah. you put into perfecting your craft and getting better yeah. and improving and all the, I know there's, you know, all the photo software and all the different things that you could invest in. Yep. And I think a lot of times people forget there's that, you know, two to three hours of time that they don't see plus everything that goes into that time. Yep. And yeah. then when you start thinking, like, wow wow, I think these pictures are really I, <laughs> quite a deal. <laughs> I, exactly. They're much better than I would have taken on my iPhone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And some some people are just looking for a picture in the moment. Like, 
I just want pictures to use for this year's Christmas card. Like, we're probably never going to look at them again. And some people want, like, that picture to put on yeah. the wall forever. So if you're shopping around, you can kind of choose a price point based on what you're looking for, too. Yeah, that's a really good point, yeah. actually. Yeah, if you're looking for just the... The quick one in and, and out, one and done, exactly. Yeah. yeah, take this one family photo of us. Thanks so much. Adios. <laughs> yeah, then I can I can yeah. see that for sure. But yeah. I am the opposite. I am the person that's like, as you noticed on my cell phone, my screensaver are the pictures that you took. <laughs> like, it's been summer, and I am usually like, my photos need to be along season with the seasons. <laughs> and I didn't change them because I love them so much. They've been winter all, all, uh, all year long. Yeah, all so right. we're going to need some new ones because kids grow fast. Yeah. That's, that's yes. the problem, right? Like all of a sudden your kids are grown and there's still a photo of your six month old. Uh, we have this one big picture in our kitchen and it had been a photo of uh, the four of us and Aaron was six months old in it. She's four and a half now. So at Christmas last year, it was like, okay, it's time to up this photo. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> what are some of your favorite memories of taking family photos like are there you don't need to give names obviously but like are there certain were there certain situations that stood out or certain you know outfits or ideas or different things that have come up I like uh, photo shoots that have a story behind them so I just did some at the beach um, a high school friend of mine and her wife tried for in vitro forever forever years and they finally are pregnant well actually they've had twins now wow yeah um, so I did their maternity shoot so it was just neat, like I had known her since I was six, and now, anyway, it was just nice to reconnect and tell her story. Um, and I do some photos for people fighting cancer. So a friend of mine was diagnosed with cancer and did family pictures, and then he went into remission, so I, did you see those? I did see them. Yeah. Yeah, I so, was going to bring them up if you didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he, he's now in remission, so we did another photo shoot with a letter board saying like my dad's so awesome he beat cancer and just like more family pictures which were much happier than the first one yes yes <laughs> definitely yeah. so i like i like ones like that yeah family stories that have a, a meaning behind them too yeah. not that they all don't they're but all you know great. what i mean yeah. yes. yes yes tasha had fun with you yeah <laughs> um they're all they're all fun but the ones that stay with me are the ones with a story yeah mm. absolutely absolutely yeah do you get a lot of people like giving you a story like could you do this for free because of this, et cetera? Yeah, sometimes. Do you, or like, you, are you still trying to build your portfolio? Because I can give you a deal. And like, I'll give you a deal. Yeah. <laughs> How about we turn that around? Mm -hmm. That's like me. Hey, you want to Photoshop or do my uh, beer Photoshop. run? Well, you got to Photoshop some of it too. But yeah, uh, you want to do my beer run? I'll give, yeah, I'll give you a free beer glass. Uh, uh. And here we're I friends. am. Yeah. Friday, I'll be there. And by the way, if you want to do a podcast with us, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> and then two, all of a sudden, it was two. Yeah. Three, four. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That's that's how we roll. That's fine. So, um, <laughs> give us a place where people can find you. Facebook. Yeah. Facebook is my main contact. I'm building a website. Not finished. Yeah, they're hard. <laughs> so yeah. Facebook me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> two little twigs photography. To say it again. Two little twigs photography. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah. you're on Instagram too. Sometimes. Yeah. I don't really know how Instagram works. Well, but the, the great thing about Instagram, because you're a photographer, but is Instagram's well, photos. It, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah. It's yeah. kind of made for photographers. Yeah. Really. Just, is it? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I Get on it. Yeah, I should probably look into that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can help you out with that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Absolutely. Um, before we go, though, I would love to hear just a little bit more about that what what you want your families to have in mind before they come to you like what what do you need from a family to make the best photos work? honestly the most important is to dress comfortably just be comfortable and um, be yourselves like if you're normally jeans and t-shirt kind of family like don't show up in your Sunday best it's not that's not it can hang on the wall but it's not a snapshot of your real life um, and dress for the weather <laughs> those are my two main ones everything else you can work around like if your kids decide they want to put on their Halloween costumes, yeah, yeah. things. Yeah, that's fine. Those, those are the family photos that are up on our wall. It's yeah, the kids in their Halloween costumes. Sometimes that's what they wanted to do. Yeah, the candid pictures are sometimes the best ones. Oh yeah, they're, I, yeah, I love those. They're sometimes they're most of the time better than the post ones. 
Well, and that's true because then it's real life, yeah. right? Like we did one years ago and Sarah went through a huge Paw Patrol. <laughs> she was chased for a year of her life. <laughs> and uh, she wouldn't, she didn't want to take her costume off, but I got her out of the costume by allowing her to take her stuffy. So in our family photos is this Chase Paw Patrol <laughs> stuffy in every photo. But hey, what I, like that's that was her, that and was... it was a really funny stage in her life. So we kind of embraced it. And you might have forgot that otherwise. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, I would. She wore that costume every day for a year. Thank goodness it was before school started. That could have been awkward. Yeah. <laughs> It is awesome, definitely. Um, so we're going to have you back for another podcast here soon because you uh, also do something absolutely incredible at the Moncton Hospital as well. And I just love what you're doing. So uh, we're going to have you back very soon to talk about that. Okay. And that wraps up our podcast <laughs> for today. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. Uh, thank you for listening. Remember, if you enjoyed today's podcast, that you can rate us. Anytime. We'd love to have a review, please, mm -hmm. and thank you. Yes. Yeah, you can find us on iTunes. You can find us on Spotify. You might be watching us on Rogers mm -hmm. right now. Oh. And you can always find the link to the podcast on Pickle Planet. Yes, absolutely. www.pickleplanetmoncton.com. Also, before we go, if you'd like to sponsor one of our podcasts, please let us know. <laughs> you can contact either one of us or through pickleplanet.com. <laughs>